from a strange, savage land comes a hero unlike any you've ever known. 1935, 102 cane toads are shipped to Australia to eliminate the beetles that are destroying the sugarcane crops. By the look of things, this sturdy fellow is ready to go to work. So three cheers and welcome, brave champion. Well, I doubt the IQ of those people. I really do, in all due respects. The toad did nothing whatsoever to eliminate the beetle problem. A female can lay 30 to 40,000 eggs twice a year. A toad's a nomad. It's what he does. He just keeps expanding. You couldn't count the number. There'd be thousands and thousands and thousands. Ah! Maybe he's eating himself out of house and home and has to keep moving. Well, what is going to stop him? I mean, what are they going to be like? They'll be as big as camels. And I found that they were highly toxic. He's nothing but vermin. I think there should be a bounty put on his head. Toads are public enemy number one. People should try and kill as many of them as they possibly can by any means that they can. What we do is we put them straight into a bag in the freezer. I thought about things like flamethrowers and aerial bombing. Certainly, if the toads come to the Territory, they should expect some tough treatment. I wouldn't put a bloody toad in me freezer. Oh, the invasion's going to go on. They're not going to stop it. I think of the Second World War, where you hear about those eight of them out there against 500,000 on the other side. They're actually wasting the time. Depart from here, you cursed creatures, into everlasting flames, prepared for the devil and all his bloody angels. They're not going to stop the cane toad.